Hey y'all, welcome. In this video, I'm going to share my opinion on 10 designer bags you should buy in 2022. Now these are gonna be bags that I personally love and bags that I think are super hot and also not necessarily with a good resale value because again, here, I don't buy bags to resell. It's something to consider, but sometimes, you know, you wanna buy a nice bag, you don't really care about reselling it and you can see yourself having it forever. These are the bags we'll be discussing today. So I'm gonna start with the first brand. By the way, I'm Candice if you're new to my channel and here we talk lots of luxury and designer goods. And I like to incorporate color wherever possible because no matter your style or your age, you can rock color. And I try to spritz it in wherever I can, wherever possible. So the first brand I'm gonna talk about is Balenciaga. I have a few picks from them because Balenciaga is becoming very hot with bags. Not becoming, they already are. So the first bag is the Balenciaga. I'm gonna butcher this. La Cagole, extra small. They have different sizes in this, okay, different colors. This is a bag I haven't gotten. I really like it, but for some reason, I'm kind of like, do I really need this bag? Or am I just in huge admiration of the bag on other people? And that's something for me to think about before I just go and buy it. But this bag is super hot, so no denying that. It's everywhere. It keeps releasing in different colors, different textures. And there's this year, the Tiger Orange one that I, oh, so freaking cute. I really love that color. There was this lilac one that I really liked. So many different beautiful colors, but Lenciaga does color very well. And also their prices are not outrageous. So the quality too is nice. I've, all of the Balenciaga bags I have, I have no complaints. And this is one I don't have. Next from Balenciaga, the Hourglass bag. I have quite a few of these, okay? I have three at the moment. I say at the moment because this is a bag, like everyone has their Chanel Classic flaps in like 50 colors. This is a bag, I can see myself getting a lot of colors because it's that cute. I really like it. So y'all know I have the sneakerhead bag. It's not officially called the Hourglass bag, but it has that same Hourglass figure, okay? I also have the Gucci Hacker Project Balenciaga or Gucci. It's Gucci, but you know, it has Balenciaga signature, hourglass size and shape, you know? I have that one. And I also have this gorgeous denim one. So many different patterns, so many different fabrics, so many different colors, and the price point is also very reasonable. And the shape of it in general is very sexy and unique. I really like it. Last, from Balenciaga, we're gonna get off the train, okay? Don't worry. I have the Neo Classic City. Now, I have three of these. I have three different shapes. I have the mini, the nano, and the super nano currently. But specifically, I'm gonna talk about the mini. I feel like that size is more practical for more people. The nano is practical for me, but you know, for most people, the mini is gonna be a lot practical, a lot more practical. Also, again, the price point, also the colors, also the textures, the fabrics, this is a bag I've seen released in so many different colors. It continues to come out. Also with all these Balencia Balenciaga bags, I mentioned it, they often go on sale too. So not all of them, but some of them do go on sale. So be on the lookout for those. Very nice bag. You can hold a lot of stuff in here and it might not be a super popular bag still, but again, this video is not about popularity. It's about bags that I feel like are worth the prices too that they are currently. So you'll notice a lot of our uh, couple brands are missing from the list that I typically really like. And that's strictly because these are the bags on the list I feel like are worth the current prices, even with their increases and such. So just something to keep in mind when, you know, thinking about popularity. But if you're concerned about popularity, stick with Hourglass, it's super popular, and the look of gold. Somebody please correct me. I know that's not how you say it. <laughs> Next from Bottega Veneta. I said in a previous video in the past that I would never buy this bag. So I ordered it in a gray color. I ended up returning it because the quality of the bag was just, I just couldn't. And I still really like the shape of the bag. I still really loved it. That's the Bottega Veneta Mini Jody. So I ordered another one recently. I ordered it last night actually. And it's on the way to me. It should be to me in like a week or two. But I got it in this gorgeous pastel lilac color. Anyway, the Mini Jody has been out for a while now. It took a while for me to get on the train, okay? I really like the bag. I held it in my hand. I've been seeing it on other people. And I get it, okay? I totally get it. And also, as I've told you, I don't necessarily need a crossbody strap. I've been experimenting with a lot of my bags without the crossbody strap, without a shoulder bag or a shoulder strap, like strictly in the crook of my arm, just to see if this is a bag that I could deal with. Experiment with bags with the top handle only because you can only rock this bag top handle or in the crook of your arm. And I've been doing it. So 
that basically erases my whole idea that I could never wear this type of bag because now I can, I've been doing it. So this is a bag that has been hot. It is still hot. It continues to come out in beautiful hot colors. I say hot one more time, but this is a really nice bag. It's increased in price, okay, but compared to a lot of other bags, it's still kind of reasonable. Next, Hermes, and I have the Bergen 30, okay. They have the 25. I recommend the 25, 30, or 35. I say 35 because it seems that bigger bags are making a comeback. And also people have been raving about the size of the 35. They're like, they love it. But for me, I probably would get the 35. It's way too big for me, but I would consider the 25 and 30. This is a bit on the higher end of the budget or not, there's not a budget for this video, but it's on the higher end of pricing. And the reason I have it on this list included in this video is because I feel like even though I don't own one, I still feel like they justify their price. They're handmade, they're exclusive, they continue to maintain quality and they don't compare themselves with other brands because they don't have to, they're Hermes. I hopefully will get one this year. I'm not really in a rush to get it though. I still have to strategize on how I'm gonna get one because I'm not spending 20 grand on one. I'm gonna spend retail. If I don't get it retail, I won't get it. And that's just that. So that's on the list. Next is considered kind of a trendy bag, but I feel like they've kind of, you know, shown us that they're more than just a trend. They are a moment. And that is Jacques Mousse. And the one I'm featuring is the La, the La, Bam, La Bambino Long. Another bag that continues to make waves. It comes out in different colors. I think they even have a bigger version. Personally, for me, I don't think the bigger one is the vibe, but I completely understand what they're trying to do with it. Just like they did La Chiquito in a bigger size, they are now making this one in a bigger size as well because people want bigger bags now. They want more functionality, more room. They want to be able to put their phone in their bags. It's completely understandable, but I really like the smaller one. I think it's cute. I love the bold colors it comes out in. Also comes out in neutrals if you don't like color. So many different options. Also an extremely great price point is under a thousand dollars, which is rare these days with these designer brands. And I think it's worth it. I mean, I have three Jock Moose bags and I still really love them all. Number seven, Fendi Baguette. I love my Fendi Baguette. I have the multicolor one. I had two at one point, but I sold one because it really wasn't the color I wanted, but I really like this bag. It holds a lot, is a moment, is a great size. <laughs> it holds a lot, it's a great size. Duh. But another bag that continues to come out in different colors. I will say, to be honest with you, the price is kind of going up a little too much for this bag, but nonetheless, I still feel like it's kind of worth it because of the quality, because of how long it lasts. I haven't had any issues with my baguette. And also, if you feel like the traditional one is too much, too expensive, too big, they have a mini and a midi size as well. I have the midi, I have yet to get the mini. Y'all know my story with the mini one, how I missed out on the Nicki Minaj pink one. I'm still pissed about that, but maybe one day I'll get over it. I haven't yet, so we'll see. Next, I have one bag from Louis Vuitton. Y'all know these recent price increases, they have gone crazy extremely crazy with these price increases and cha i don't think a lot of them are worth it most of them are not worth it in my opinion the only bag one of the only bags i feel like is worth it is the alma bb it's still priced at 1760 currently by the time i post this video it might have another increase who knows but great bag great room inside it's still a great price point it might be if you think about the price when it first released you're probably like oh it went up so much, but the price being at $2,000 comparing it to other bags of similar sizes that are more expensive is still mostly worth it, okay? And if you're still wanting a Louis Vuitton bag and you don't have this one, I feel like this is still a great buy. Unlike the Couson, which is like five or six grand now. What is it? Number nine from Saint Laurent. This is the Lulu Puffer. These start at $16.50. They come in different sizes, whether you want the toy Lulu, the mini, I believe, the small, and I think they have a medium, and those are your four sizes. And I'm not talking about the Lulu, I'm specifically talking about the puffer, the squishiness of the puffer. It continues to release in different textures. I've seen tweed, I have a denim one. They have leather. So many different options, so many different colors. If you want something bold, if you want something neutral, they have you covered. And I think this is a great bag, you know, it's a great classic too. I don't feel like this will go out of style. That's just my opinion, it hasn't. So it says a lot. And then last on the list, this, it's a little bit less than luxury. It was a lot less than luxury, but I still feel like it's luxurious. And on this channel, we talk about all things luxurious, not necessarily price-wise. So the last bag I'm gonna talk about is from Marc Jacobs. This is a small tote bag. Yes, they have canvas, but I specifically 
recommend the leather. The leather is really nice. I use this as my camera bag from time to time. I do swap because I have a bunch of camera bags at this point, but our laptop bags, but it's kind of junky right now because I traveled with it recently, but it holds so much. I have a bag insert in here too. I have a video filmed of the canvas one. I can also do one of this one. It comes in different colors. There's this gorgeous hot pink one and it's sold out. Of course, it's beautiful though. And they come out, they have a bunch of pretty spring colors that are out. And if you don't like the bright colors, of course they have the neutrals like that one. And there's gorgeous brown, but I really like that bag. And I think it will continue to be hot this year. No, it's not luxury or designer. It's design, I feel like quality, not price, is what makes a brand luxury or designer. That's just my opinion. And I really like the Marc Jacobs small tote bag. I will continue to buy it because I really like it. And there is another one I want. But how many tote bags do I really need? It boils down to that. But let me know if you agree with any bag on my list, if you think anything should be added. Again, this is the list of the bags that I personally like. And there might be other hot bags out there that I don't necessarily like. Also, there might be others that I'm not familiar with. So let me know if you know of any others. I'll leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.